Welcome to Cargo Film Presents. I'm Dan. And I'm Dave. And we talk about uh, documentary films that uh, you can watch in, on various platforms. And we're going to be talking about Ruben Blades' is Not My Name, a uh, documentary film about the salsa singer and musical legend Ruben Blades, uh, which premiered at the uh, South by South Film Festival. Yeah, so, you know, I, I didn't know too much about Ruben, you know, going into watching this film. I, of course, I knew who he was. And it's funny because uh, there's a whole uh, kind of a scene in, in the film where he talks exactly about how he's kind of known, but, but he, isn't, he isn't known and nobody knows why they know him because he's, he's just done uh, so much, you know, as, a, as, a, uh, as an artist. He's, uh, it was part of the recordings of the Fania label in the, in the 70s that uh, brought a lot of uh, salsa musicians into the pu public eye. So he wrote that wave and uh, was, uh, but then was also uh, an actor and has, has made I don't know, countless movies and, and appeared on a you know, big TV show, The, the Walking Dead. Uh, and then you discover that he also got his law degree uh, at Harvard. Uh, he also ran for uh, president in, in Panama. Uh, so, you know, the film is, um, is, is illuminating, not because of, a, you know, you're, you're it's documenting this super interesting guy. He's also really a, a super charismatic guy and he really gives himself over to this film, you know, and, and, uh, that's what you want, I think, in a lot of these documentaries about uh, artists is, you know, you, you want that kind of cooperation uh, with the filmmaker to, you know, really participate and really get some insight into, uh, you know, who they are and uh, how they do what they do. Yeah, I think it's, uh, was it? it's uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez who calls him the most popular unknown person he knows, which he's right, not, right. It's not meant as an insult. It's just to say that Rubens has done so much and accomplished so much in, in his life that, as you said, like, you know, you, you know, you know him, but you, you haven't really, um, I guess, considered him and his achievements in its in it in their totality and when you do you're like this guy is he, he seems to have lived several lives uh in one you know, which is which is a kind of cool um you know thing to look to to uh see in the doc is you you kind of get a total picture of of reuben and all of his accomplishments yeah and and also his personality right i mean he he sings and dances you know for for the camera he sees, just seems really comfortable you visit with him, um, you know, as he goes back to Panama and, and, and shows you where he, he grew up um, and, uh, you know, and, and talks about his life as, as a, a musician. And, you know, one of the more interesting uh, parts of him is he's, uh, he's, he's quite political and talks about how he was politicized, uh, you know, uh, watching, uh, I think, the American Army quell an uprising in Panama when he was a kid and, and you know he grew up with this impression of, of America being the the model country the model culture uh, that we uh, should all aspire to you know post World War II but then you know he witnesses the um, kind of inner workings of of how they uh, sometimes will dominate uh, countries and uh, and and he became and is known uh, uh, you know uh, around the world as being a highly uh, political uh, artist. That's right, and it's a uh, it, you know that that political consciousness and and uh, of his of his music and and his work is is kind of paradoxically what I, I suppose made him so popular throughout Latin America. You know, sometimes right. that that can be um, detrimental to a musician or an artist's career if they go too political. But you know. Um, his his exploration of you know social and political themes in in salsa music and dance music is you know a, a fairly I, I think it was a new and unique combination at that time mm -hmm. and you know was a kind of call to arms um, in 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 Panama and throughout Latin America um, where people you know would would rally around uh, his music and in particular. Uh, Plastico, I think, is you know mm -hmm. seen as one of the uh, one of the most influential and important Latin pop songs uh, of all time. Oh, I didn't know that, uh, but you know, I, I certainly you know they certainly discuss some of the the songs that uh, you know kind of um, you know were unique in, in, in that way. 
Uh, so, you know, the, um, the guy's got tons of charisma. You know, I could watch the guy for hours talking and, you know, he also does uh, show some vulnerable moments, some, some, uh, scandalous moments that, that, uh, that occurred to him during his career. Uh, but, but, you know, you, you leave just feeling, uh, you know, tremendous amount of respect for this guy's, uh, philosophy of, of, of life and how he approaches his, his art and, um, and, uh, and, uh, the, and the music is, is, is terrific. And, and you learn, uh, at least I learn, you know, something about, uh, parts of Latin America that, that we often don't get to see, uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. And he's, and he's known, I guess, as a, as a very private person. So, you know, uh, hats off to the director, Abner Benayim, who, who, you know, got Ruben to open up and, um, you know, participate in, in an unfiltered way in, in the doc. And they have a really, um, you know, cool dynamic, uh, uh, on screen together. And mm-hmm. well, I mean, Abner's not on screen, but, um, yeah, but you do off screen. Him. Yeah, you hear him yeah. off screen, and and you know you hear Ruben talking about um, the importance of this documentary for him. You know, he he views it as part of his um, as part of his legacy, and mm-hmm. he says it's part of his will. I, I think at one point, you know, so for uh, for music lovers and and fans of Ruben, but uh, you know anyone, I think this this documentary is a is a is a must watch. Yeah. Awesome. So. Uh, you can watch this still currently on HBO in the U.S. and uh, in Latin America, and also on uh, transactional platforms uh, like iTunes, Vimeo, and a- Amazon uh, around the world. So uh, enjoy the clip. Yo he tenido siempre debilidades, pero las mujeres. Siempre uno tiene la vista para esa mañana. Y aquí en Nueva York llega a los 25, 26 años. Este era como Pinocho en, en la tierra de, del dulce. ¿no? Esto ya es un lugar donde hay mujeres que vienen de todo el mundo. Y todas interesantes. No tiene que ser una persona necesariamente, eh, una mujer que, que te que llene la, 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 la fantasía de cuerpo y de vaina. Puede ser una personalidad también, de la personalidad del amor. Pero no siempre, no importa, siempre está viendo, siempre está viendo. Eh, y entonces la canción es sobre eso. Hay gente que yo conozco que pa- viven feliz o son muy buenos actores. Pero yo, yo encuentro siempre lo he encontrado muy difícil. 